Hi guys, um, I want to do a video today on how to use a fetal heart Doppler and um, I'm going to make this short and quick because I hate when people ramble on and on and on about how to use it. But to sum it up, I am 10 weeks and two days today. I first found the baby's heart week, heart beat at nine weeks. Oh my goodness. And I am using the up and raise Doppler. I will link it down below. You can use whatever Doppler you want. And I'm also using KY Jelly, which yes, I know might be weird for some people, but you can use aloe vera, you can use KY Jelly, you can use ultrasound gel, they all work the same. So I just wanted to give you a couple tips of things that I did to find the baby's heartbeat and see if we can find the baby's heartbeat. Okay, so I know this is kind of a weird angle, but the first tip is, especially if you're early on, I didn't never needed to do this, but you can always slide a pillow or something underneath your bottom to kind of elevate your hips up a bit so that way, because your baby's low in your pelvis, and that way it kind of can, with gravity, push up a little bit. I'm gonna show you what I do before I even turn the Doppler on, else it's gonna just make a lot of annoying noise, but you're gonna wanna pull your pants down a little bit. If you want, you can tuck a towel in here, just so you don't get any gel, and then I put the gel on. You can tell I've used a lot. <laughs> So before I turn it on, I like to get it all kind of gooped up here. And now this tip is, so wherever your pelvic bone, I don't even know what this is called. I call it the vagina bone. I'm just going to be honest. But you'll be able to feel it low. And your, I like to start way down low and kind of angle the Doppler, not straight, but at more of an angle. And then you're just going to very slowly start in one spot and kind of, Turn in a circular motion so that you're at checking all the angles in that spot. And if you don't hear anything, then move a little bit to your left or right or up and down. And um, eventually, hopefully, you'll find the baby's heartbeat. But just a disclaimer, sometimes for me, it's more difficult than others. Sometimes I find it within three seconds. Sometimes it takes me a couple minutes. But honestly, the baby can be in a different position. Everyone's anatomy is different. So don't panic if you can't find it at just a couple of weeks or nine weeks, 10 weeks, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And the speaker's up here, so I like to listen to it. Now that's my heartbeat, so you can, you'll be able to tell. There we go. So you can still hear mine as well. But you also can hear. And once you know like where your baby's kind of at, like my baby's always a little bit more on the right hand side and I kind of have to angle it pointing towards the left. Um, but the position can change. But once you kind of know where your baby's at, it's easier to find it for future times that you're trying to use the Doppler. This Doppler also shows you the heartbeat on the actual um, screen, but sometimes it's not 100% accurate, especially if the noise is like the heartbeat's kind of faint in the background. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed those couple little tidbits on how to find your baby's heartbeat and how I found my baby's heartbeat. Um, Again, don't be discouraged if you can't find it early on. For me, like the first time I heard it, I was like shocked that I actually found it, but I prepared myself mentally to know that I may, excuse me, jeez, that I may not actually hear the baby's heartbeat um, for the next couple weeks. So um, if you want to get the Doppler that I have, I will link it down below. Otherwise, there's so many great Dopplers out there, you can honestly pick any of them, I'm sure they'll be fine. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.